if you hear a beeping slash chirping in the background, I just ate not that long ago and it's my diabetic meter telling me that my blood sugars are high. Yeah, no fooling, I just ate anyways. This is going to be advice that is because I'm a man, I'm saying it to men, but it applies for everyone. The whole forgive and forget BS. There are two ways it needs to be done. The first time it happens, forgive and forget. You forgive the person. You forget about what happened. Relatively easy to do. But if it happens a second time, you forgive what happened. You forget about the person. It just saves you a whole lot of <coughs> drama and heartache in the long run. That, however, is a difficult thing to do. Because you don't want to forget them. You can claim and essentially lie to yourself as much as you want that you want to forget them. You don't. What you want to do is hate them for what they've done. That's essentially the natural thought process of humanity. Someone who is close to you in your life or what have you, someone important does something that you just can no longer deal with. As necessary as it is to just cut all ties with them, have nothing to do with, it doesn't matter who they are, they could be your parent, one of your parents, for in all likelihood. Doesn't matter who they are, doesn't matter what they are, you need to cut them out of your life and just move on and forget about them. But it's damn near impossible to do because they were such a major impact in your life, whether positively or negatively, that you always want to remember them, even if you remember them in anger, in spite, and in hatred. It is not impossible to stop hating them and just forget about them. Not going to lie, that is not impossible. Also, again, not going to lie. It can be damn near impossible. Whether it be a you're thinking about them constantly or a You've gone months without the thought in your head. Months without thinking of them at all. And then something happens and all that anger, hatred, resentment just comes back. When that happens, you basically have to Turn the switch on and just let it go. Which, in all honesty, is extremely difficult the first few times you do it. 
it gets significantly easier and easier each and every time. And it will inevitably get to a point where you no longer need to do this because it's simply not happening anymore. Allows a person to mess up once. A second time, depending on the severity, enough's enough. Don't tolerate them in your life anymore. Again, does not matter who they are, does not matter what they are. It also does not matter if people make you out to be the villain because you've had enough and you've cut them out of your life. Anyone accuses you of being the villain, remind them. How many knives are you expected to take in the back before you say you've had enough? Guarantee they won't have an answer. Thanks for watching, take care and bye.